Salutations, I am Artsy Abby and I'm back with another DIY. Um, it's super simple, like it has two ingredients, so it's really easy. And I believe that waste-free living, or at least the journey to waste-free living and living without a bunch of harmful chemicals, it should be fairly simple. Um, so that's why I decided to make this little tutorial today. So what I'm making today, it's like a lotion thing um, with coconut oil and essential oils, basically. <laughs> so um, it's a really, it's really good. I use it. I have celiac, and so I like break out in rashes sometimes um, when I have gluten or just because my body hates me. Anyways, so um, it's really helpful for that. It soothes it, and the tea tree oil is awesome. Here's my nifty ingredient list. As you can see, I'm using coconut oil again. Um, it's pretty universal. If you have some sort of coconut allergy or something, you can use something else, probably like shea butter or something. Um, whatever works best for you. I haven't done research on that, which I probably should have for this video, but I'm sure there's something out there that you can use in place of coconut oil. So you see that I also got my little jar right there, and you can buy those secondhand basically anywhere. Um, and then I have my essential oils. I'm really short now because I'm on my knees. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your coconut oil, like in my last tutorial, and just like fill this thing up right here. Um, this is like your salve. You can like press it in. It doesn't have to be all the way full, just enough so that you don't have to refill it like every night. This is family friendly content, okay? I'm not a big I don't mind your fan like Maggie. I don't care if they don't like me. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the word out there. So, we're taking an ice cream break <laughs> since the hooligans came down. Fine. Ice cream. Hello. I look dead. <laughs> my friend has joined me. I almost just died. Again. Michaela is here because my sister's birthday is tomorrow. And it'll be today in 30 minutes. It'll be today in 30 minutes. 28 minutes. Yes. <laughs> and like, yeah. Oh, she's, oh, she's old. <laughs> Anyways, so this DIY, like I said, is very easy and I've literally done most of it by just putting one ingredient in this little container. So the next thing that you do is you put your essential oils in, and I will have Michaela put the essential oils in. Do you want to put lavender in, or do you want to put tea tree oil in? Lavender. Okay. What are we making, mouthwash? Uh, no. Oh, a different thing? <laughs> no, this is, uh, like, a lotion replacement, because a lot of- But you did say that at some point. I'm not crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's my bottle for- <laughs> I'm making a mouthwash one later. This is my bottle, so be on the lookout for that. Yes, be on the lookout. I miss it. Okay, how much do I put in? Uh... Just start putting it in and I'll tell you what's okay. Wee. Wee. Okay, how does this come out? And so lavender is like really calming and stuff and I am really obsessed with it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, that's good. So we put some lavender in there. Oh, oh, it's <laughs> potent. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put in some tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is actually really good for your skin. Good to know. But you have to dissolve Backed. it in like a different oil. Okay, that's probably good for that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to put a lot in that. Ooh. It's probably because probably it's fuller. So now we are going to mix Ooh, it just a little sweat. bit. Mix it. <laughs> mix it. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like the uh, lice incident of like 2015 or whenever that was. The what? The lice incident. Remember? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Traumatic. Oh my goodness, what? I don't, what? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Well, oh. that's just because my mom put that on my head. Oh, tea tree oil? In an attempt to, uh. well, but that doesn't, like, get them off once they're there. It just tries to prevent them. But, like, she put that on as a substitute while she went and got things to get rid of them. Ooh, ooh, I do not like lice. We just, all got yeah. lice at one point. That'll, yeah. That might be a future video, but it was... <laughs> It was really scary, and we all felt very violated. It's but... the worst thing in the entire world. <laughs> Oof. And now we like, all have this residual habit of just like constantly like feeling through our hair mm -hmm. and everything. Oof. Fun times. Oh, it's making me itchy. 
but don't worry, we're not unclean. This was like three or four years ago. Wait, I yeah. can't remember what it was, like three years ago. I was still in high school, yeah. yeah it had to be at ago. least like three years ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, anyway, back to making back lotion. To <laughs> oh, lice. Anyways, so you literally just stir it until you feel like it's stirred. Until <laughs> you feel like it's stirred. <laughs> Very specific instructions, mm -hmm. right? So yeah, this is what it should look like. Um, so some coconut oils, like, they're not as soft as this for some reason. Like, one, the one, the kind that I used to use is not as soft, so you might have to melt that. Um, that's what I did with, like, some deodorant stuff that I made. This oh, is I like the, the bottle little spoon. That it's in. Yeah, it has a little spoon. This one is, was actually solid and in a different container, but I melted it and put it in this container because I found this cuter container. Oh. It was, like, in a mason jar. And it was hard to get. But, yeah, this, you, this is literally the same thing as this, except you add baking soda. So yeah, here you go. This sort of like can also act as Neospore and stuff. It might sting a little bit because of the tea tree oil. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I use it for like my feet and stuff. It's nice. Um, don't use a lot of it. I learned that the hard way. It'll make your hands greasy and then it'll make your hair greasy if mm. you have that weird obsession with messing with your hair because of lice. Yeah. Um, so here we go. Woo. This is completed. Yes. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, my normal posting time is like, as of right now, it's like Sunday at like 10, really random time, <laughs> and then Wednesday at 3. Um, and then I might do like smaller videos in between that. But as of right now, if you want to watch my videos, those are the two times that I routinely post things. Yay. Ooh, thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe to support or us as YouTubers. <laughs> um, and then I'll probably put a link to Michaela's YouTube. Woo, but you are, if you're watching, channel. if you're watching my channel, you've probably watched her channel before. Cause she's she's more popular than I am. Well, um, I've just been doing it for longer. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you. Good night.